Hello from Switzerland, a country that I'm told is going to be quite boring for football fans, but I'm here today to bust that myth. Welcome to Away Days. That's incredible. Covered in blood. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Yes, today we're here to see FC Basel take on FC Zurich in a game that is actually one of a couple of rivalries in Switzerland. It's a bit of a weird dynamic. Basel are rivals of Zurich, but they're also rivals of Grasshoppers. And some people have told me, and I've seen online on forums, that Swiss football might be a bit... There's a fan over there, but a bit iffy. But we're here today to try and see that it can actually be crazy. It's a derby, it's gonna be at night, there's gonna be pyro, it's gonna all be kicking off. These teams are struggling this season as well. Both teams need to win. Zurich have actually won the league last year and now find themselves in a relegation battle. One thing to note about Switzerland is, it is known as being a very expensive country. We're gonna see what that cut translates to at football. Is the food expensive? Is the beer expensive? Is there any atmosphere? I know obviously Swiss people are known as being quite reserved, but I don't believe that football, Basel fans, I've seen them before. They're gonna be crazy. I don't get where this myth is from. So I think this is gonna be really great. But also speaking about it being expensive, it's luckily we have a season sponsor. Yes, this video and every other video from away days this season is sponsored by Omada. Omada is the gambling free alternative for you to predict football matches where your pride is at stake, not your money. The only thing you're risking is your ego and banter with your mates instead of risking your financial assets or money going forward. And the beauty of this with Away Days this season is the person that wins the Away Day squad, which is free to enter and Omada is free to download, every single week of this season will win a prize. And this week, the prize is a random football shirt of your choosing. You can choose any shirt in the world and all you have to do to have a chance of winning it is join the Away Day squad and try and get involved and win too. Just on the gambling thing quickly, there has been a few people raise concerns about Omada and whether this is genuine, and 1,000% it is. I wouldn't have worked with Omada for this season if I didn't believe it is the great alternative. In my opinion, it's showing young fans especially that you can predict football matches without having to stake money or risk anything. It's instilling habits that you can predict and have a laugh with your friends and win these free prizes in the app instead of risking your money because gambling, no one wins. Whereas as Omada, you can win and have a fun time with your friends. So in my opinion, it is the perfect alternative to gambling if you still want to predict football and get out there and have fun with it rather than risking your money. Anyway, there is a long, long time till kickoff. Me and Ben are here, his hands are getting cold. Let's have a look around the stadium. Um, is there much to see? That's like there's a shopping mall right there. So we're gonna get in there as well and have a beer. So actually, as I said, there's a shopping center underneath the ground. And we've, we spoke to a few people and they're kind of a bit like, why? Why have you came from England for this game? But also, they're also telling us the atmosphere will be really good. So we're hearing good things, which will make it even more disappointing if it is bad. But it's going to be great. Look underneath this. I told this this shopping centre goes underneath the stadium, so you can see a few bars already in a shopping mall. And there's like old players. You've got Xhaka, you've got Salah, you've got Hugel. Ben, do you want to know what I found out about football grounds is? It's just from like doing the stuff with different things. It's like this door will 100% be open for no reason. It's not. Shut up. What the f These are the steps down. I don't know where these steps lead to. It's underneath the ground. Oh no, this could be where we die. Where are we going? Oh, it stinks of urine. Very bad urine. Oh, where are we going? The depths of Mordor. Well, where are we? Where actually have we came? We've just done some explore of the centre of Basel. We are in what I think is like, almost like a main square type thing. And one thing we've noticed is like, there is, this club is massive in this city. There are stickers for Basel everywhere. Like, I've, like I said in the intro, like I know the whole boring thing, but that's more of like people who are idiots and haven't, like Basel's a massive club with massive fans and Zurich fans are great as well. This club is huge and it's almost like the city revolves around the club, it feels like. Have we walked 10 meters without seeing a sticker? No. Well, the 10 meters is a bit of a drama. You've lied there, Ben. You've lied, and for what? You've lied. These seem to be like a big sweet treat here. Oh, no! Yours is... I've got the football one. Yours is chocolate. Mine's raisin. Oh, no. I'm genuinely really disappointed in that. You've got a chocolate one. I, 
Why is the football one raisin? Oh, it's ruined the trip. We've got a very special guest. How are you doing? We're going to introduce yourself. My channel is Ground Looper FC. Uh, my goal is to travel with you guys through the cities, explore cultures, food, and then of course the football game where we just explore the crazy atmosphere <laughs> to all of Europe. So you've been to Swiss games before? I've what? been to Swiss Derby. And what's it like? I, uh, the stadium wasn't like sold out. But the atmosphere where the ultras are in this section, it's like really, really loud. A lot of fireworks, pyros, banners. So people who say it's boring are wrong. They are very wrong. Very wrong. We'll prove it tonight. We'll prove it tonight, yeah. So we've got one beer, two beers, three beers. This is the local Swiss local, beer. Local Swiss beer, and it came to £19. You already... <laughs> I was going to get you to do a taste test, but yeah. Yeah, 19 quid for three beers, so I miss Weatherspoons. He's a bit faster than Alice. Alice, what happened? <laughs> Turn it up a notch. <laughs> Yeah, that's English. That is good. Frost. Frost. I also downed my first beer, which we can see from the footage sent from this kind man here. And also, make sure to check out his full video when it is live as well. His channel's linked in the description and overlaid on screen right now. We've had two pints. Ben doesn't drink. How are you feeling? <laughs> Strong stuff. <laughs> Go on, you take them glasses back. Responsibly. <laughs> we found a Basel fan who watches the content. Thank you very much. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm George. Uh, I've been a fan since well, since I moved here in 2007. Um, Big fan. Also classic shirts as well. Yeah, very nice. A classic Nike one there as well. What atmosphere should we expect? Um, lively. 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 You'll see the stadium. The sound really resonates, and you feel it in your bones. It's, so, it's really cool. What would you say to the people that say it's boring? Um, they should come and, ex and watch or watch this video and be like. Actually, I was wrong. I think it's quite an elitist view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a snobby view. It's a development league if you look at it in the grand scheme, but um, lots of great players have come here. Lots of great, great talents have come through. So, and this is a league on the rise. Love that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy that as well. That looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Good food here always. <laughs> Welcome to Basel. Did that in the intro. Welcome yep. to Basel. Okay. We're now inside St. Jacob's Park and it is a beautiful stadium. Um, you can see over here on screen, it's stunning. What are your first thoughts on it? Uh, it's much better on the inside, isn't it? it the outside yeah. is a bit plain. It, the outside isn't great. It's like a, um, a jacket potato. The inside's better. But we've also got a bratwurst, as you can see over there on screen as well. We've just realised there's donut kebabs and pizzas, but we were told this is the thing by the member of staff. They said this is the thing to eat here. So I'm very keen to try it. That is a bratwurst. It's so awkward. We've just realised Kevin Augustin, ex Leeds, plays for <laughs> Basel, and I've just shouted "Big Kev" at him. He's looked over and he's just proceeded to "Big Kev." <laughs> you shouldn't have had two beers. Big Kev, Big Ben. Obviously, we've had the two beers each. We've had the bratwurst. We've had very manly things to drink. So I'm going to bring it back down to earth. The only sweet thing they have to eat is smiley jammy. It's nice of them to do a self-portrait of you for the jammy. This is straight um, Guinness, by the way. Straight Guinness. <laughs> As to what oh, else? Oh. Met this lovely Basel fan. Would you like to introduce yourself? So my name is Noah. I'm 20 years old, and I'm a big fan of FC Basel. You're 20. I look so young. <laughs> What should I expect today? Big players, big choreo, uh, rivality on and, the, and on and off the pitch. It will be the best atmosphere in the like in the country. Last season, uh, Zurich won the championship here in our stadium. It's quite difficult to us, and today it will be a big fight. What do you say to people who say Swiss football fans are boring? Uh, this is proof, right? It's not boring. <laughs> I think we are in the shadow of all the big clubs in Europe, but I invite all the people to come here and just listen to the atmosphere. There's like an hour and a half to kick off and the fans are going crazy already, so it's going to be great. But well, good luck and hopefully Basel will get the win. In a way, thank you. Here come the Basel players to the warm-up. The Basel players are warming up here. Big Kev is there. There's Big Kev. The fans are already at it. There is 45 minutes to kick off. This is going to be incredible. This is going to be an incredible experience. Something that is very interesting is if you look there, very full, away end, very full, in between, very empty, and in front of us, it's quite empty. But I'm hoping there is going to be incredible to look at. We've got an incredible view of it. So if there's pyro, if there's anything, this is the view to have of there. Here 
Here come the players. Like I said, it's going to kick off here, isn't it? But if you look opposite, you know what I mean? Oh, that's class. They've all changed in the red and blue t-shirts. That's incredible. They're throwing a firework in the air. Oh, wow. This is unbelievable. Wow. I've never seen anything like this. The away end is kicking off as well. This is going to be crazy. If a goal goes in, either end is going to absolutely erupt. Come on, boys! We're underway here. Come on. That was crazy from the ultras initially, so hopefully it carries on. A player's head's just been cracked open with the first five seconds of the game by his own player who's just booted his own player in the face. We've just started. I won't zoom in, but if you want to look at it, you can see it online, but his shirt is covered in blood. Um, we are literally five seconds in. Has it been a red card already? What? Ten minutes in, there's a red card. What a foul! For who? Wow. Already. I'm zoomed in, I don't know what they're showing, but I can't imagine it's nice. <laughs> What's happening now? They're all changing their tops to white now. This is unbelievable. Fair play, Basel fans, you are fantastic. So it's not much happening in the game at the moment by the red card, but that, that home end has been fantastic and I can't wait to see what happens should Basel score because they've already been incredible. Ben, sum up this first half in a word. Surely not, by the way. Zurich against the run of play. Their first shot of the game. Well, that sums up the first half. The away manager has just been sent off. We've seen two red cards. That's more than we've seen shots. Half time here, Basel nil, Zurich nil. Maybe they call it the boring derby for what happens on the pitch and not the fans. Because them home fans and the away fans, to be fair, have been fantastic. Hello, uh, what did you make of the first half? Uh, it's very soft time. Um, it's there was a lot of um, the football wasn't brilliant. It was a lot of fun, but red cards galore. So there was two red cards. Just, just two become galore. Yeah. Nothing's happened on the pitch. No. We need to see a goal, Ben. It would be nice if Zurich would score first and then Basel would come to the It would be nice to see someone kick the ball in the net. It's been bad. Second half starting now. My boys. want something to happen. I'm just going to demonstrate to you guys what happens every time Basel bring the football forward and they look promising and then they either cross it to no one or work the ball so much it eventually loses it and then they don't score um, every time. Like This has been the story of the last 54 minutes.
I don't remember a shot on target happening. And that's not even me trying to be funny. I don't actually remember a shot on target. We are now 67 minutes in. The fans, good. Both sets of fans, good. <laughs> the football. Oh. Right, stop messing around now, Basel. It's the 70th minute. This is the moment, all right? I've decided. This is the moment you score. For God's sake, take a hint. This has got to be the moment. You've got space. You've got someone over. No, no, no. Why have you taken your time? Oh, well, you've wasted it. You've wasted it. You've so wasted it. This is so good. Oh, man. Score a goal, please. Go on, Miller. Skin him. Where is it? Oh, my God. There's been lots of pyro from the fans. It's just... I imagine they've got probably about 5,000 more ready for a goal, but they don't see them often, it seems. <laughs> Zurich could nick this. They're in. Zurich are in. It's a shot on target. I'm not being funny. There is far too many signs here asking for shirts as well. Basel free kick, 90th minute. Please. Please. Ultras are absolutely hammering the players. Wow. Right, full time. We came here to answer a question. Is this the most boring derby in European or world football? The answer is no, because the fans are good. And like we say with all of these videos, right, it, what happens on the pitch affects it. Um, and you can, do you remember a really big chance? The red card, we were worried the red card was going to kill it. We see that in Romania. Because we thought Basel would batter them. Yeah. And then nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. But um, I would say it does It does take one of the crowns to one of the more boring games we've ever seen. But I don't think it's one of the most... I think the fans are great. If you're a Basel or a Zurich fan, you're great. Oh, the, the passion and the atmosphere. The players were going up all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's just unfortunate what went on. Yeah. Do you have something to say? <laughs> FC Basel is fucking rubbish. Fuck our manager. I love our, uh, our fans. I love our, my guy right here. But our players are fucking rubbish. Our manager is fucking rubbish. But your vlogs are fucking good, brother. Thank you very much. Yeah. Subscribe to my guy right here. Subscribe to FC Basel. But fuck our players and fuck our manager. Thank you very much. And I've been Ellis. He's been Ben. Give me 2,000 likes on this. And I'll see you very soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye.